ตาแนน A few days ago, I saw this ad from Kappa about their gusnek kettle, and then in their in their video. The kettle poured very beautifully. I messaged them, and I told them that I want to borrow a kettle for me to review, yeah, to make a video out of it. And then they immediately responded that they would be glad to send me one of the kettles and um, for me to review. So we have it here. Um, I I did an unboxing video if you want to see that i will put the link here today we are brewing with the kappa cwk 100 um, gooseneck kettle this is really the first time that i'm going to brew with the kettle because i prepared it first i boiled um, two rounds of water and then i let it i let the water rest in there so i think now is the time for me to actually use it to brew some coffee so before anything else kappa is a local brand here in the philippines and they have a lot of different products in their lineup for pour over and espresso so that you might want to check them out go visit their facebook page kappa or go to their shopee store you just search for kappa c-u-p-p-a right um i want to take you to the whole experience so i'm gonna show you and i wanna um hear from you what you think um we are going to boil the water here right in front of the camera and with the with the audio on because the the first thing that i noticed um the main difference of this kettle versus my other kettle is the sound so if that doesn't bother you it's fine for me, it's fine. Actually, for me, it's fine. But it's a bit loud. So I just want you to um, experience it as well. So I'm gonna turn it on. It has a very, um, it has a very simple display. You just have your single display in the middle. And then your keep warm button, your switch button, your on and off switch. And then your temperature up and temperature down. And then that's it. Nothing else. So I, I really like it that it's very simple, it's very straightforward, and it doesn't have anything else on there. Right, I set the temperature to 89. Hear it? It's a bit loud. It doesn't bother me. Uh, while the water is heating up, I'm gonna prepare all the things that we need to brew some coffee. It actually starts up as soon as you um, press the temperature and then it turns off. Otherwise, if you if you press the keep warm button, it will maintain the temperature that you um, wanted it to do. And it heats up fast also, right? That is worth noting. It heats up um, quite fast. Not to mention, it's a one liter kettle. Okay, so for today's coffee, we are going to use the 72 Anaerobic Natural Mount Apple from Pure Grounds Coffee. So I'm just gonna weigh, I'm just gonna weigh um, 13 grams. And then we're gonna use the Comandante at 15 clicks. Oh, and it keeps, it really keeps the temperature um, that you set it to. It just heated up again just now. Yeah, we're gonna start um, brewing this coffee at 89 degrees.
Okay, the first thing that I noticed with the Kappa Kettle, the spout, um, despite having a one liter body, the spout is very small. Um, you usually found this with um, smaller kettles of Broista or smaller kettles of Hario. But in this case, in Kappa's case, it's a one liter kettle with a very small spout. So you actually um, get to control it even better. Um, on the third pour, I'm gonna pour really slow so that we can see how how slow um, how slow this kettle can pour. My record on the Brewista is around 1.8, 1.7. Yeah, so we're gonna try and um, we're gonna try and pour as slow as we can. And then I'm gonna check the flow rate, right? Also worth mentioning, I like the handle because it's um, burly, it's chunky. So I have a lot of grip, but the plastic is um, kind of moving when you grip it. So it's kind of scary at the same time. Right. I was actually able to pour around 1.7, 1.8 as well. Um, in fact, I measured the opening of the spout. Um, it comes in at the same opening as the Brewista. So the, the only difference is the shape of the cut. So the shape of the cut of the kappa is more, um, it's more similar to the fellow kettle, the stag kettle. Mm. I'm actually very impressed with it. It's not too hard to handle. Yeah, and the base is very responsive. Whenever I, see, whenever I pick up the kettle and put it back, it gives you a response. Mm. Ah, it's very responsive and I think it heats up really fast. Um, I think we're gonna try that again on the next video. Maybe a comparison, like a side-by-side -side comparison with the Brewista and the Kappa Kettle. But right now, I just want to brew my coffee. Another thing that I want to mention is, um, I think the build quality on the handle is if I grip it tight enough, I am opening the connections of the, the actual plastic mold. Like the joints of the plastic handle. Yeah, um, of course you're not gonna do that, but I'm just testing it out, the, like, the, like the build quality of it. And the plastic feels cheap. Of course, understandably, because this is a very, um, it's a very affordable um, option. And also the, the cover rattles. Do you hear that? Um, but otherwise, like any other physical, physical, like physical assessment, I really like it. You, you can even shorten the length of your um, power cable, your power cord. You can even shorten it, wrap it here like other appliances and then shorten it um, it heats up really really fast but while it heats up really really fast it make it also makes a lot of noise i will play that noise again right now right did you hear that it sounded like a normal like a normal kettle right um otherwise um with the performance of with the performance of the kettle, I really like how the how the weight shifts because I 
it wasn't it wasn't really hard to control at all and even the shape of the spout even the shape of the spout um, I can get really really close to the bed while pouring very slow again the flow rate the slowest flow rate that I did earlier was around 1.8 to 1.9 and yeah I'm 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 actually I'm very I'm actually very impressed with the kettle if you are a beginner if you are starting out and don't want to invest in expensive brands yet um, or if you simply don't have the budget to buy the expensive ones I think this will be a really great option for you it is sold for 3,799 only it's a one liter kettle it heats up really fast the 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 main selling point for me with this product is the spout it really is the spout that got me so the spout has a really really nice um, shape to it and it's very small right it's very small as for the durability of this I'm not sure if it's um, going to last long I'm not sure I don't know yet if it's going to last long because I will be returning this product to them um, after I do all my reviews it's a very simple appliance so why why else would you break it yeah what could be the possible reason for you to break it right as I've said in the previous video like the unboxing video I really like how the base is really small so it doesn't take up much space and that the the buttons are actual the buttons are analog they are physical buttons that you will press they are very straightforward and very simple for now i'm gonna enjoy this coffee that we brewed with the kappa thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee bye